Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to be doing a I Tried Following makeup tutorial. And today's tutorial, I'm going to be following Jeffree Star's makeup tutorial. And he is using the Royal Peach Palette from Kylie Cosmetics. So that is what I'm going to be using today. And let's get on to the tutorial. And let's cake my face. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am ready to get into some makeup tutorials. It is the new year, so I thought, you know what? Celebrate the new year and to start off this year with a bang, I am going to try out the new Kylie Cosmetics The Royal Peach Palette. Now, when I saw this packaging on her Snapchat, I was like, oh, okay, like the bitch is coming in for the new year. She's not playing games. I really so, liked I it. I was really excited when Kylie's team dropped this palette off at my house. I'm like, thank you, girl. She didn't drop it, it off at my house. First of all, this packaging. Let's just talk about the packaging because it is gorgeous. So already I'm like, okay. And when I opened the box and saw this, I was like, yes. I got to say one thing. I know you guys can't feel this palette through your phone or computer, but it's heavy. It's nice. Like, it is Good packaging, I guess. I mean, that's what I got to say right away is that I was really impressed with everything. So this is a unicard, and of course it says the name of the palette at the top. Beautiful eyes. I'm going to assume that these are Kylie's eyes, of course. Um, and this makeup look is cute. I got a little inspired by the front. I'm like, okay, let me try my version. So on the back, of course, it says Kylie Pressed Powder Eyeshadows. It has all the shade names. There are 12 shades, and all the names are on the back. They're also on the back of the palette, which I love. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward because this has another, like, two minutes of talking, I want to say. Yeah, like, a good few minutes of talking. So, I'm just going to skip ahead to the tutorial part and get on to this video. There's a lot rolling out with every single person, and I can't wait to share everything with you guys. So, if you want to see how I created this peach goddess look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I just primed my lids with a little MAC Painterly paint pot, so we are ready to roll. I decided to do my brows, foundation, and contour today. Just Perfect, that I already did that as well. We are ready to dive right into it. Now, I haven't even finger swatched this palette yet, so... I definitely have. This is not brand new. Clearly, I've had it for a year now. Here's my brush. I've never used them either. I like it, it feels good. When I saw that, it did, when I saw this video, it did look like that. Sorbet. I'm not ready. I have to get the other side. And I have a 217 brush from MAC as well. It is. My 217, like the name is slowly rubbing off. I love this brush. Dip into shade Peachy. Now, peachy. this one was really pretty. It's called the Sorbet. I don't know if I said that the first time. Sorbet is a very sorbet. easy to call it. It blended into the crease peachy. perfectly. So we're just going to dip into here and add a little bit more into the crease. 
Ooh. All right. Tell me why this peachy shade is everything. Does he put it all over the lid? What the heck? I thought he was just putting it on the crease. Sorbet is a very easy neutral color. It I'm confused. So I'm going back. He like puts it on the lid as well. Okay. I've never taken this all over the lid. Okay. Alright, tell me why this peachy shade is everything. It's almost like a bright coral. Like, it has amazing payoff. The pigment is great. Really does. Now, I've only used two colors so far, so, you know, obviously... Y'all know what it is. I'm just going to keep going on as I go and just give you guys my, you know, first impression right when I use them. And this one is so pretty. I'm looking in the mirror like, oh my god, yes. All right, now the shade at the bottom right is called a cinnamon. It is a more darker, peachy, dirty color. And I'm going to go in with this little Cosette brush. It is a fine... I have a brush like that. The M... 506 brush from Morphe. And we're just going to saturate our brush with this, and then we're just going to pop this right in the crease. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in with that. Hold on. Okay. Color peachy and just take this brush and go in on my lower lash line and really smoke it out. So he's taking the Kylie brush and going in with peachy. I gotta give it up for these matte shades. I haven't tried any of the shimmers yet, but like this formula is really, really nice. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is Okay. Now he's taking a pencil brush. Taking peachy, getting the smaller right, in the corner. Okay, next he's taking Max Smolder. We're going to use that as a tool to smudge out and add a pop of blue in a minute. Y'all thought I wasn't going to dip into that blue shadow here. Okay, so he is using an eyeliner in the waterline. I am going in with the uh, Urban Decay. This is the 24 uh, 7. Glide on. Okay. The wrong one. Oh, I love the blue in the palette. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why the hell I'm using a dry beauty blender to pull down my eye. It is because I don't like when any of you people pull and tug all over your eyes. Because guess what? In five or ten years, I'm sure those feet are gonna hit you like a fucking brick, and they're gonna True. be like, "Damn, I shouldn't have like pulled my eyes so tight." Remember, the skin around your eyes is so much more sensitive than the rest of the skin on your face. So, I like to take this and literally just that's it. That tiny movement is gonna help put this in there without pulling and tugging your eyes. And that's it. One, two, and that is done. All right, now. Yeah. 
Go back in with this pencil brush. Not done yet. Detailing brush, royal. Mm. Yep. I love the blue in this palette. The blue is so nice. Love it. I do not have benefit mascara. What I do have is okay, so I cannot find my favorite mascara, but um, it is the Lash um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I truly, absolutely have no clue where it could have gone where it could be I have no clue I literally just used it so I'm gonna have to go in with the lash accelerator from Rimmel Mascara is done. All right, so lashes are on, and the lashes I'm wearing are the Dodo D312s. They're pretty dramatic. They flare out at the ends. I do not have those. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Oh god. What's his What was his highlight? One of them you guys already know, but I think to keep the whole peach theme of the palette and the peach color, theme. I don't have that, but what I do have I have a brand new 
is Precious Petals, which is a peachy pink shade. Jeffrey loves a highlight, and so do I. To love this mm. shape. Now, the golds kind of look a little similar in the pants, but they are so different on the skin. I get a lot of feedback that King Tut was a little too dark and bronzy for the lighter skin tone. It was just a little too dark, so I created a beautiful, stunning, hot gold shade, and this is called Siberian Gold. I've been mm. trying it the last few weeks, and I am obsessed with it. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Gerard Marilyn, since he's using a gold, and the Morphe M310 brush. Me too, Jeffrey, me too. I think the only place that I need highlighting is a little bit right here. Alright, highlighting is done. No, it's not. Now let's get to the lips. For lips today, we're going to start off with a little Charlotte Tilbury hot lips. Now you guys know Kim K.W. was one of my favorites. I don't have here, Charlotte there, Tilbury. New one, this is called Miss Kingsington. And oh my god. Mm, mm. It's a darker nude, but, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> but I'm hoping this, this is the one. I don't have that shade. Don't have that either. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I have for that. That can duplicate that. But what I do have is Beige Babe, which is actually... I am going to go in Beige Babe from Maybelline. It's a little peachy. I haven't worn an actual lipstick in so long. And then I'm just going to go in, actually, hmm. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Kylie King K and just place that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to dab that on. Give that a little bit of shine. I want to go in. Also go in a little bit with... Um, Precious petals. I only focus the product on the center of the mouth just so it gives it a little bit more volume and a little luminous look. And yeah, I'm not going to put it on the outer edges. And uh, I think Oops. this look is almost complete. Now, where's my damn setting spray? All right, for setting spray today, I'm going to go in with my favorite Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. But Yeah, just keeping that in the center. I love it. The whole thing is they just revamped their packaging. They also don't have that setting spray. Stuff, which I can't wait to put in some future videos. But look at the packaging. Yes, it is like a... So.
so pretty. Black. Old matte black with lavender font, and I'm living. In case you guys need a little reminder, this is the old. I used to have that, but I can't find it anywhere. I think I might have finished it. So this is the final look of me following Jeffree Star's Royal Peach Palette Review and Tutorial. So this is the ending result of me trying to follow a Jeffree Star makeup tutorial. And I actually love the outcome of it. I would never thought to put the uh, um, peach shade all over the eye. Um, so thank you so much, Jeffrey, for pulling me out of my comfort zone for that. And I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are stumbling upon this video, be sure to subscribe. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those are at TobinMUA. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.